you have one hour of zero gravity. The first five minutes would be fun. The next 55 would be the end of the world as we know it. Gravity is the unpaid bouncer keeping your feet, your coffee, and the entire ocean stuck to Earth. So the second it clocks out, your slippers shoot off like bottle rockets, the ocean peels off the planet like a sticker, and the moon forgets where it parked. Instantly, your body's inner ear goes haywire. Imagine the worst carnival ride times 10. Anything not bolted down joins you on the ceiling. Phones shatter, knives hover like horror movie props, and grandma's china turns into a slow-motion claymore. Step outside and it's worse. Cars lift, traffic lights tangle, and that neighbor who never skips leg day, he's screaming past your window at 100 miles an hour. Meanwhile, Earth itself starts busting at the seams. Magma rushes upward where weight once pushed it down. Cracks spider across streets. Skyscrapers snap their own welds. And volcanoes pop like shaken sodas. The atmosphere, once hugging us, balloons into space. Every breath feels suddenly thin, like sucking air through a coffee straw. Up in the sky, the moon watches the chaos and quietly drifts away. No gravity, no orbit, no monthly rent check for the tides. Satellites ping-pong into the void, taking GPS, weather reports, and your pizza tracking app with them. You wanted one hour of weightless freedom. The planet answers with planetary divorce papers. Then, snap, gravity returns. Everything that rose falls back at terminal velocity. Oceans crash as mega-tsunamis. Cities rain debris, and the sky burns with re-entering satellites. One hour without gravity buys you a lifetime without civilization. Could humanity claw its way back from that single hour, or is floating for five minutes of fun the dumbest trade ever? Tell me, would you risk it?